Here's something to seriously think about, people. Don't let your uh, <clears throat> religious views get in front of your common sense and the political uh, 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 trigger words. Trump is not the only threat to free speech in America, <coughs> though that's the only one that the mainstream media has decided to focus on. There is a bipartisan group of senators that are working right now to criminalize free speech and organize protests. This is not a drill. The Israel Anti-Boycott Act, sponsored by Democratic Senator Ben Cardin of Maryland and Ohio Republican Senator Rob Portman, would impose criminal and civil penalties on American firms that participate in boycotts in support of Palestinian rights. The sponsors reportedly hope to tack it onto funding legislation that would head off the shutdown. The bill is one of several pieces of pet legislation that lawmakers are advocating in the final days of the session, hoping to add to a package of seven spending bills that need to pass to keep the government fully funded past Friday. So this group of senators, led by Democrat Ben Cardin, are trying to slip this completely unconstitutional piece of legislation into a spending bill trying to preemptively prevent American businesses the public and hairs too from are economically doing the same. harming the Israel through their promulgation and promotion of an apartheid state and pushing forward settlements which the United Nations and the rest of the world deem as illegal. They're terrified that it will work and Israel will work, have to change its ways because it's been done get, before. Get their the freaking way all the time. Israel is modeled after what was done in South Africa during apartheid, and it was instrumental in overthrowing apartheid. Ben Cardin is an Israel lobbyist darling and Chill. actually tried to introduce an even more extreme version of this bill back in July 2017 with much more support before there was progressive outrage. Presidential hopefuls Cory Booker and Kirsten Gillibrand were co-sponsors until Gillibrand withdrew due to political pressure. Something to keep in mind in 2020. Hmm? The original version's punishment. Anyone guilty of violating the prohibitions will face a minimum civil penalty of $250,000 and a maximum criminal penalty of $1 million and 20 years in prison. And what's scarier is that this isn't just happening on the federal level. Huge states like Texas and New York have anti-BDS bills with Democratic Bunch Governor Andrew Cuomo ordering a blacklist of institutions who support the boycott back in 2016. Yet he also called for a travel ban to North Carolina over their bathroom bill, which begs the question, is New York State's speech laws merely centered around Cuomo's personal beliefs or political priorities in the moment? Another thing to keep in mind for 2020. This bill could actually pass the Senate, which should not only terrify you if you're an advocate for free speech, as conservative Ben Shapiro types pretend to be, but yeah. I forgot that's only reserved for clickbait outrage about liberal students shouting at Ann Coulter on a college campus. But it should also terrify you that the Israel lobby has such a stranglehold on both parties that a mass amount of senators are yeah, willing to criminalize right to protests of human rights abuses human rights abuses that the United Nations themselves have decried. This bill is pure propaganda as well as unconstitutional. It is attempting to blind Americans and handcuff American businesses from seeing the reality of the open air prison that Israel has created with their illegal settlements. Luckily, public sentiment is turning around. The New York Times editorial board came out today decrying the bill. Keep the pressure on guys, this cannot pass. No, and it should not, and people shouldn't be afraid to boycott anybody or any organization, any business, or any government or criminal government, media outlet, and the list goes on. If we want to talk shit about them, or if we want to talk about the things that they are doing wrong, or... Whatever the case may be, we should have the right to do exactly what she's warning you about.